Good day one and all, welcome to this video. Today we are going to create this 3D text effect, which you can do in all sorts of wonderful ways, but um, we're gonna do it today using an app called Nomad Sculpt, and then take it into the newest version of Procreate, which lets you paint on the 3D models. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of quick ways in each of those to create 3D lettering and then paint on it. So, Let's do that. So the first thing we need to do is create the letters that we're gonna use for this word. The word I'm using in this instance is the word messy. So we need to create the letters, create a brush for a mask, which you'll see in a second. In order to do that, you should have a black background and a white foreground. So the letters should be white, your background should be black. There's all manner of different programs you can use to do this, but I'm gonna use Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. And I'm gonna start with the M, then I'll just export it out onto a JPEG. And it's really that simple. Like we're gonna go through all the other letters now and do the exact same thing. Same with the E, same with the S. But we only need to do the one S and then the Y. Now that we've got them all saved, you should have an M, an E, an S, and a Y all saved on your camera roll, ready to import into Nomad. So let's get in there. So once we have Nomad Sculpt open, you can go up to your little scene icon at the top here, down to your primitives, and insert a plane. Once we've got the plane open, there's a few little things you need to do first to make sure that this works. So in order to make sure we've got nice crisp lines on our lettering, the first thing you need to do is subdivide this new plane that we've added in. Subdivide it like three or four times, just to give you as much detail as possible for nice crisp lines in those letters. Now we're gonna select our mask brush, and before we do anything else, go up to this pencil icon at the top, down to stroke type, and make sure you've got grab dynamic radius selected. This is gonna let you sort of muck around with the size of the brush before you decide to apply it, which is useful for this. So now on the bottom left-hand corner of the app here, just underneath mask and that little material selector, uh, you're going to click on that button just below it and that's going to let you import these letters that we've saved so click that little plus icon and select your first letter now if you tap hold and drag out the pencil to get the m to the sort of size that you want so select the mask icon at the top and then just click sharpen a couple of times just to get those edges nice and clean okay so now we have the shape of an M masked out on the plane. You're gonna select the gizmo icon. You're gonna flip the plane back, so we're looking at the front of it. Then by selecting the top of the green arrow on the gizmo axis, you're gonna pull it down. And this is gonna extrude our letter from the plane. Lovely, lovely. So now to get rid of that plane, so we're just left with a letter, make sure your mask is still selected and choose the trim tool gonna to click on rectangle on my left hand side and just drag it up past the plane let go and bang our plane is gone and we're just left with a nice chunky M if you wanted to create one word that all the letters were the same height you could type out this word all at once add that one word to the mask do this and you'd have the full word I'm just doing individual letters because I want them to appear at certain heights and I want to mess around with them a little bit so that's the method let's do it again with all the other letters so bang in another plane. Just gonna drag this one out to the side. Subdivide it a good three or four times. Then click down on our little alpha section and add in the next letter, the E. Make sure your mask is selected and then drag out your E to your preferred size. Mm. Not sure why I'm saying mm in an odd way. Select the gizmo tool, green arrow at the top, pull it down. There's our E. Now with the mask still selected, click on trim, select the rectangle, and clear it away. After you've done each one of these, remember to go back up to the mask at the top and clear the mask, or else it'll stay there forever and cause you all sorts of problems. Okay, that's the basic gist of it, so I'm now gonna shoot ahead at a superhuman pace and do the two S's and the Y. Now with the gizmo tool selected, we can muck around with the placement of each one. 
I'm going to put them at little jaunty angles. I'm going to stick them on different heights from each other just till I get something that kind of sits right. And by right, I mean weird. Okay, this looks good to me. The next thing I want to do is have them all on an even plane at the bottom. So I need to kind of trim them all off. So if you imagine this was lying on its back, they would all be sitting flat on the surface. So this is this is the way I thought I would do this bit right now. I'm all I can probably almost guarantee you there's a better way of doing this. But this is the first one that came into my head. And it's to go back in and grab another primitive, this time a box. Place that box underneath so it creates sort of the ground that this is going to be sitting on. I'm going to use the top of this box as a guide to then trim everything off at the same height. I'm going to look at this box dead on and just like we did before, I'm going to select each letter individually starting with the M. Select the trim tool with the rectangle and pull it up so the top of it matches where the top of that box is we've just entered in. And if I do that to each letter, just trim, rectangle, trim, rectangle, trim, rectangle up to the same point. And when I lose the box, each letter there is now sitting nicely along the same plane. Now we don't need to do a fat load more in Nomad in terms of this. Uh, we just need to prepare this so we can chuck it into Procreate and stick some paint on it. In order to do that, we need to create a UV map for each one of these letters. Procreate won't understand what to do with it without this, so it's a very important step. So get your first letter selected. Click on your sort of resolution icon at the top here and go down to UV Auto Unwrap. If your object has any more than 100,000 vertices at this stage, this can take a while. Uh, so hit Unwrap Atlas. You know, so you can make good use of your time. Just go around the house, do some, do some chores. I don't know, wash, wash your wife, paint the dog, whatever it is you need to do. Once this has done its thing, you'll notice things look a little mental, but that's kind of the point. It's essentially unwrapped the 3D M into a 2D image, which Procreate will understand. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing with all other letters. UV auto unwrap. Wait a while. Do the others. Once you've got them all done, go to your folder icon, down to export, select OBJ and export OBJ. And it should bring up Procreate as one of the options. So just click on there and it should open right up. There we go. We are in Procreate, ready to paint. So we're gonna keep this really simple. So you can select each one of your letters and like you would normally in Procreate, you can Pick a color and just drag it in and it will fill the entire object for you. Let's just try this, try this again. I'll do it with the E. Drag in a nice blue there. Grab this S. Try something. Maybe one of these lighter pinks. Lovely. Second S. Let's go with a yellow on this one. And with a Y. Grab another one of these blues. Nice, that's our solid colors down. Now I want this to just look like an absolute mess. So I'm gonna select the end, and then I'm just gonna muck around with some of the artistic brushes on here and just find some weirdness. It's like some of the different colors on here and literally just go to time. I just want this to be a mess. But it's really, this is really just to show you how you can now paint on these 3D objects with Procreate really, really easily. Either fill it, fill the solid color, or grab your brushes and just have a play around. Once you've got everything covered, as you can see, I have put zero thought into this. You can play about with some lighting. So hit your spanner icon, hit edit lighting and environment. And by clicking on some of these lights, you can muck around with their placement, their hue, saturation, intensity, and just kind of have a little bit of a play around until you get something you like. All I've done with it next is take it into Photoshop. 
isolate it from its background and just do a little bit more mucking around to create what we have in front of us. But a nice easy way to create 3D lettering in Nomad Sculpt, take it into Procreate to paint it, and you've got a thing. That's all. I hope that was useful for you. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you soon. Toodle pips.